When you think that the show business trauma can use a calm day here comes another storm. And this time it may rock the boat called Hollywood and throw some of the influential people overboard. Actress and comedian Tiffany Haddish, who had played the role of Tiffany in the movie Cadillac Records, was grieving. When you think that the show business trauma can use a calm day here comes another storm. And this time it may rock the boat called Hollywood and throw some of the influential people overboard. Welcome back to the Celeb Live channel, everyone. Tiffany Haddish had a horrible experience last year when her name was dragged to the mud. And although the horrible lawsuit against the actress was dropped, the damage already appears to have been done. Is that something, oh, I lost everything now, the actress and comedian is trying hard to restore her image in the industry because no one seems to hire her after that scandal involving filming kids. And Tiffany says that some powerful industry giants are involved in damaging her career like they did to many other celebrities before her despite the disgusting accusations that have been the part of the lawsuit filed against Tiffany many high-profile figures. Supported the actress in her fight against the industry giants, for example, another black bald actress, Monique, has been vocal about her own feud with some of Hollywood's top players, like Tyler Perry and Oprah. And it feels to Monique that Tiffany had experienced the same mistreatment from the show business. A listers, you gotta acknowledge the fact that you stood up for Tiffany Haddish. I think that was so dope for you to say what you said on her, as Monique says. Ever since the lawsuit, the industry has been giving Tiffany Haddish cold shoulder instead of supporting of her through these tough period. And it seems to both actresses that some Hollywood top players find it advantageous to blackball Tiffany forever while the actress, in fact, stepped into some big pile of blood when she was accused of making some inappropriate and even illegal comedy videos featuring children a pair of siblings featured in the videos now ages 22 and 15 years old launched the lawsuit claiming they were groomed by the comedians an attorney for Haddish said the plaintiff's mother had been trying to assert these bogus claims against Mess Haddish for several years. And now, according to Tiffany, there's more to this story, as she believes the entire thing with the lawsuit was orchestrated to kick her out from Hollywood. And she's not the first person to be treated by the industry elites, believe that what they believe will improve people's lives. Therefore, even though Tiffany instantly refuted the allegations in the case, it damaged her reputation and career. The most shocking aspect of the entire situation, according to the producers, is that after it was reported that the plaintiff had withdrawn the lawsuit, Tiffany's sister, whose identity has not been made public, released a statement defending her. She said, My family and I have known Tiffany Haddish for many years and we now know that she would never harm me or my brother or help anyone else do anything that could harm us. But even though it was later revealed that allegations we still stand by our defense. Shady to the actors, I've never seen so many cowards and black men in this business. I would have to put my brother Tyler Perry in that Tiffany feels mistreated by the show business top players. And like it had happened to another prominent actress, Monique Haddish, says that the movie giants like Tyler Perry could change the way other people see her after that scandal. But apparently the entertainment mogul intentionally chose to let Tiffany's career sink lower than Titanic and rest at the bottom of all things, see ya, like it was the only thing that happened on New Year's like, out of all the whole wide world, everything else going on in the world. They talked about that, so when Haddish lost everything because of the bogus allegations, she really expected her high-profile friends and colleagues to support her during these tough times. But to the comedians, much surprised those who had enough power and reputation in the show business remained tight-lipped. This was exactly the moment when Tiffany realized that something doesn't add up here. And as many netizens say it's truly suspicious to see Tyler turning away from his friend, in the moment of need, as one person commented, the more I hear about Tyler Perry, the more aware I am becoming how nasty he is despite the public show. And another user added, go, get him, Tyler Perry's dark side has been exposed. 
and numerous individuals have attempted to show the public that he is not the kind of giving philanthropist that he claims to be. Tiffany Tyler has proven to be a snake, and this is true. Even though Tiffany and Tyler were on good terms before the scandal and Perry, even proved what a great person he is in. 2018, when he surprised the actress by offering her her dream car, Tyler Perry, we saw that he went ahead and got you a Tesla, but even though it was such a generous thing to do, Tiffany had changed her opinion about this person now, and she believes that Tyler is a vile snake that can only support you when things are going well, and in the moment when she was at the lowest part of her life, Tyler didn't offer her help. And the actress finds many coincidences with another infamous episode when Tyler Perry refused to support another disgraced actress, Monique. As you know, Monique was blackballed in the industry after a falling out with Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels in 2009. She signed on to star for $50,000 in the independent film Precious which was directed by Daniels with Oprah and Tyler being executive producers for the movie. And this is when things went wrong for the actress, so Tyler Perry says to me, listen, you may really want to consider promoting this film. The actress later claimed Tyler didn't take her no nicely, and he made sure she didn't work in Hollywood after she refused to promote the movie without payment. Monique claimed the film studio owner bad-mouthed her to others in the industry even going so far as to accuse him of calling her difficult to work with. Although Monique later said Tyler didn't take her no nicely, and he made sure she didn't work in Hollywood. Monique's career after she was unjustly terminated by the industry giants, he recalled a private conversation he had with Tyler Perry in support of the Oscar-winning actress. And he criticized the entertainment mogul for blackballing a good actress for more than a decade over refusal to work for free. What did she do? She said something you didn't like, so she didn't work for 13 years after that. It feels like the same thing is happening to Tiffany Haddish. And if you're there to educate, you're there to be an example of how good the community is right. Tiffany is convinced that he could put in a good word for her to directors and producers and help her get her career in gigs back. However, Tiffany Haddish has undoubtedly recovered from her legal troubles from the previous year. In addition to appearing in season two of The After Party, her filmography also shows that she is working diligently on a number of new projects. Despite this, the comedian feels that Tyler Perry's earlier refusal to assist her and influence some of the producers would have led to her being involved in much more lucrative projects. You're nasty, you're mean. Don't you, you've been saying nasty about me. It seems like Tiffany got disappointed in her friend Tyler, and although she's been trusting him after a scandal, she is able to see the other side of this self-proclaimed entertainment saint. But when it comes to Tiffany's career, Misfortunes fans don't really think she should blame Tyler Perry or anyone else. But herself, as one person commented, Tiffany needs therapists for the many years of pain living on the streets. That way she won't make stupid decisions that can land her in jail. Though at the time Haddish stated that she lost everything in the wake of the lawsuit, not every user believes that the actress was mistreated by Hollywood. And another person wrote this, I am sorry. But Tiffany is the one who's sick she needs them. Nobody told her to get mixed up in that safe lawsuit. With those children, you have to think about your image. Well, best luck to Tiffany to clear her name from that dirty lawsuit. Because even though the accusation's answer dropped her image is stained forever. And maybe, just maybe, she has to look back at her own actions and acknowledge her fault. And what do you think about this, guys? Is Tiffany just another victim of the cruel industry? Or is this all her her fault? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other videos about the toxic environment that loom over Hollywood. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video.